Good morning, guys. I don't actually know if it is morning, but hello. This is Andrew. Welcome to Friendly Fitness. Let's get shredded. Um, I'm in such a good mood this morning. Not because of this, not just because of this, but the workout that we're about to do is legit. We're doing something called Tabata. Now, oh, okay, I know you might have heard about Tabata. And you're like, no, not Tabata. But yeah, we're totally doing Tabata. The way it works is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That's pretty much it. Um, so we can do anything for 20 seconds. I'm going to provide options for all these exercises. So if one of them's just like not working for you, just listen. You know, I might, uh, I will come up with something else for you to do. And uh, we can take breaks anytime we want. The plan is work hard for 20 seconds, 10 seconds off. But hey, man, if you want to skip one of the exercises or take 15 seconds off, that's totally, totally cool. We're going to do it in four minute chunks though. So we got four exercises, each one's 20 seconds long and 10 seconds rest. So we're doing all that twice. That's four minutes of hard work. And then we get a minute off. And then I'm going to sort of tell you guys what the next set is all about. I know what you're thinking, Andrew, I didn't come here to talk. I came here to get totally shredded. You know, you're right. My mistake. Let's just get to it. Okay. <laughs> so the first block that we're going to do is, uh, it's more kind of loosening up. So we're not getting into the super heavy stuff just yet. The only equipment you need is your body, maybe a mat, because we're doing a little bit of core. But without further ado, let's go. We're starting in 10 seconds. Okay, so we're going to start with some jumping jacks. We've all done jumping jacks in like fifth grade. You know, some things never change. The wind's totally going to blow my laptop over, but who cares? So 20 seconds. Let's just see it. 20 seconds of this. That's all we need. And then we're taking 10 seconds off. If you're not feeling the jump, you can always put one foot out to the side like so for half the time and then the other side for half but we're only doing this for 20 seconds and those 20 seconds are over right now okay not so bad we only get 10 seconds rest though this is gonna go by really quick up next we're just gonna march in place two one let's go so get those knees up nice and high if you want a little bit of a challenge you can always do a bit of a skip boom if you detest your downstairs neighbor just do this they'll love it i'm just kidding don't do that we want to love and respect everybody <laughs> so just making this happen hey and that was 20 seconds no big deal up next though we're doing some squats so feet are about hip width apart you can go to whatever depth you want to but let's see some body weight squats i got my feet flat on the floor the whole time I'm letting my hips go out behind me and then bringing them back in at the top. And again, whichever depth you're feeling works for you, works for me. A few more seconds. Love it. Next, alternating reverse lunges. So we want to take a big step backwards and we bend the back knee and then come on back up to the other side. You can go to whatever depth feels good. And if you want a bit of a challenge, we can always switch from one lunge to the other, like so. We only have about four more seconds though. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go through it all again. That was two minutes of hard work. Each block is four minutes. So take breathers anytime you want, but here comes jumping jacks now. Whew. We're getting some heart rates up. Remember those options anytime you want and keep breathing. Whew. Whew. Okay, 10 seconds off. Whew. I got to tie like a triple knot next time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so anyways, marching in place or skipping in place, up to you. Try to drive those knees up kind of high, Whew. whether you're marching or skipping just driving those knees up or just bring them up as high as you want that's totally cool we're just here to have a good time 10 seconds off okay it's time for those squats if you ever want to experiment with a wider stance totally cool always remember though feet flat upon the floor down we go up we go at the top I'm really focusing on flexing my glutes, my butt. Boom. 
and I'm not dropping to the floor, even though that's what like every dance song says to do these days. Just take it nice and easy on the way down. 10 seconds and then we're doing lunges. We get a whole minute to rest after this. This is the end of the block. 20 seconds of hard work starts now. Remember, go to whatever depth feels good. I'm not even putting my knees on the floor. I'm just bending my back leg. And take a look at my front knee. I'm trying my best to keep it right over my heels. I'm not way out past my toe because I'm bending my back knee. Boom, okay. Ooh. We got a whole minute now, so just chill out, get a sip of water. I'm gonna tell you what the next block is all about. Ignore this beep. You wish we were doing work. So we're gonna do a lateral lunge with a punch. I got some wide legs right now. I'm gonna keep my feet nice and wide. And the lateral lunge means I'm going to one side. Boom, let's see a punch. And then the other side. So we're gonna go back and forth. Nice and easy. Try to twist that core at the top and keep those abs tight. After the next 20 second break, or sorry, what am I talking about? After the next 30 seconds, we're gonna begin for real. Let me tell you about the second exercise though. Second exercise is a hold squat, isometric squat. I'm just gonna hold it down here. But I can do it at this height, I can do it at this height, whatever works for you, okay? Try it for a whole 20 seconds. And then the third exercise, the standing bicycle, elbows come into the opposite knee and try to, try to drive the knee up nice and high. Last exercise is a ground to press. Touch the floor, up we go, boom. That's gonna happen for 20 seconds. And we're starting the lateral lunge with a punch. Now, okay, second block, boom. You do not have to go deep. And you don't even have to punch. You can do like a high five if you want to. Punch is kind of aggressive, you know, whatever works for you. And if going deep isn't feeling good, then just shift the weight from one side to the other. Make one leg work, then the other. Take a 10 second break. Ooh, holding a squat next. Isometric squat at whatever depth you want starts now. Try to keep the body nice and still. Feet are flat upon the floor. I'm not on my tiptoes. And try to avoid putting the hands on the legs. I know what you're doing when you do this. That's a rest. We're not doing that. Unless you need to. Unless you want to. Do whatever the heck you want. Oof. Okay. Standing bicycle coming up next. I'm going to put my hands behind my head. I'm going to drive my left knee up close to my right elbow and then alternate. Keep the core nice and tight while you do this. By flexing those abs, we sort of give some of the work to them. And they are doing a lot of work on this one. Just for a few more seconds though. Okay, the last exercise is the ground to press. Big range of motion on this one. If you want to do a bit of a hop at the top, you can. But I'm going to touch the floor or do my best to get as close as I can to it. And then reach up. Let's see that tempo. Making some legs do some work today. That exhale feels good at the top. As soon as I put my hands up, Get the air out of the lungs. Okay, we're doing all that again. Starting with a lateral lunge to the punch. <sighs> Try to get low. That one does it for me. I kind of like that. <sighs> Holding the squat, 20 seconds, here we go, hold it, you can have your hands out, you can have your hands on your hips, you can have one up, one down, doesn't matter, just feel those quads doing the work, if you want to try a bit deeper, do it, if you want to bring it up a little bit, do it, but feel those muscles work, okay, 10 seconds off, standing bicycle coming up next, Oh. Hands behind the head, let's rock and roll. I'm 
flexing. I'm flexing my core. Oh. Last one. The ground to press. We're doing some serious leg stuff later, but don't worry. This is the last leg exercise for now. We got some core coming up soon, but show me those ground to presses. Again, if you want that hop, do it. Challenge yourself in the last few seconds. Woo. Okay, take a minute. Woo. Coming up with some core. All right. So, huh. take that breather if you want. Get a sip of water. Coming up, we got some sitting crunches. So, I'm on the mat. Very similar to the standing bicycle that we did. I'm gonna do elbow to opposite knee. Boom. The more I lean back, the more work my core is doing. So find that angle that works best for you. We're not doing it yet, we're doing it in 30 seconds. Second exercise is the toe reach. So I got my legs up and I'm reaching for them as best I can. As an option, you can put the knees up and just reach for them instead. Third exercise, we're gonna hold Oh gosh, we're gonna do the plank and walk it. And then we're gonna hold a plank, but we gotta go. Cause this, oh, I have more time than I thought. <laughs> Third exercise is holding a plank. You can have the knees on the floor if you want, or keep the hips, or keep the knees up, it's your call. Woo! Okay, we're starting in five seconds. I mean it this time. So, let's see that sitting bicycle. I'm leaning back. Here we go. 20 seconds of this. You can bring the pace down if you want to. Really drive that knee nice and close to you. That's making the core do some extra work. Okay, we got 10 seconds off. Feet are going up. <laughs> Blocking the sun perfectly. I'm okay with that. Arms nice and straight. Let's reach for those toes. Explode up, bring it back down. Nice and slow. Remember that option, feet on the floor and going for the knees, keeping that chest out. Mm. Almost at the end of this one. Okay. I'm going into a plank position, high plank, and I'm about to walk my hands out. So however far you walk them is up to you. It gets more challenging the further those hands go. And you can have the knees on the floor if you want. Ooh. 20 seconds only. Okay. Hold a plank, guys. We're going to do this for 20 seconds. Again, knees can be on the floor. We want to have a straight line through the hips, though. So none of this. Keep that straight line. 20 seconds. Almost. Okay. Let's do all that again. Whew. The sitting bicycle. Leaning back however far you want to go. Let's just do it. Mm. Whatever pace works for you, works for me. Uh, but we want to drive that knee up nice and close. Feel those core muscles doing the work. And experiment with those angles. Maybe you lean back a little bit more. See your call. Mm. Okay. Toe reach. Legs going up. Ooh, I'll bring my sunglasses out next time. Okay. 20 seconds. Go. Mm. Uh. Ah, man. Remember that option. You can have those feet on the floor. It's totally your call. Yes, okay. We don't have to do that exercise ever again. High plank, walking it out with those hands. So, hit that high plank position. And out we go. Two steps out with the hands. Two steps back in. Yes. 
Okay, the last 20 second plank. Whew. Let's just do it, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Huh, okay. You know, three blocks down, one to go. So like, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Except this last block is, in my humble opinion, the gnarliest of them all. So we're going to break down the components of a burpee on this one. We're going to start by doing push-ups. So you can do this on a mat or on the grass like I was, whatever. <laughs> But either on the knees or the toes, we're going down, we're going up, boom, for 20 seconds. Second exercise is going to be a half burpee. Push up position, we hop the feet close to the hands, we hop them out, boom. Okay, you can walk the hands in, walk them out, but when we hit that push up position, we're in the push up position. And as an option, we'll lean up on a bench, like so. Just hop the feet in and out. Third exercise. Squats, fourth exercise, full burpees. We're putting it all together with the push up. And going up, we start in three, two, one, let's go. I'm doing my push ups down here. Boom. Good thing I cut the grass. <laughs> Remember, you can do this on the knees if you want. All right, half burpee. We're starting in a push-up position and we're just gonna hop the feet as close as we can to the hands. Here we go. Pop them in, pop them out, pop them in, pop them out. Keep those arms straight. Feel the core doing some work. Time to hold. We're not holding squats. We're just doing squats. Just like in the beginning. Woo. Okay. Squat with me. Boom. My lungs are burning. And on this nice cool day, it feels divine. Woo. Or maybe I'm just saying that. You'll never know. I don't even know. I'll probably have a different opinion after these full burpees. Woo. Here we go. One of the toughest exercises in the world. Full burpee, come on. 20 seconds of them. We go into that push-up position. We want to hit the push-up. Get the feet back close to the hands. You don't have to jump. But if you're feeling it, let's jump. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Two more minutes of work, and then we're done this block. Start with those push-ups. I'm going on the mat this time. Here we go. Whew. Remember, you can put the knees down if you want, but we want to keep the glutes and the core tight. We're so close. Half burpees. Okay. Starting in the push-up position. Get the feet close. Put the feet away. Repeat. And remember that option. You can do it. On the step. It is up to you. We're doing some squats. Oh, we're doing some squats. Everybody loves squats. Let's do it. Doesn't matter how many you do, we only have to do them for about another three, two, one. Okay, 
burpees. 20 seconds of full burpees. And then we're done the last official block. Three, two, one, let's go. Put it all together. Woo. We've watched the fellowship. We've watched the two towers. We've watched Return of the King. Let's watch the Lord of the Rings. Okay, we technically have one more minute. So we're gonna hold a plank for 60 seconds. That's right, bonus time. We're doing this for one whole minute. Join me guys, it's not gonna be easy. That's why we're doing it. Keep the eyes on the floor. In 30 seconds, we're done. That's all we gotta do. You'll hear the 10 second beep in about five seconds. 20 seconds left, everybody. That's it. If you want this to be a bit more challenging, you can walk those toes out behind you a little bit. If you want to take some of the pressure off, just put the knees on the floor. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Done, done, done. Whew. That was 20 minutes of Tabata. Started out a little bit gentle on the body, but oh my goodness, I'm feeling it now. So, thanks so much for joining me. We're totally gonna do an indoor low impact Tabata, you know, so uh, apartment living friendly. If you've got like oh, a wine cabinet with, I don't know, Grandma Sue's ashes on it and you don't want anything to fall, the next workout is for you. But man, there's nothing like jumping on a hot day like this with this nice soft grass. What am I talking about? I'm so tired, but I love it. I wouldn't have changed a thing. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Oh, always more videos to come. Uh, get some water, get a cup of coffee, do whatever you gotta do. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Andrew. This is Friendly Fitness. See you next time. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Oh.